It's a strange experience facing a personal struggle that is such a hot topic in society. Your life becomes less of a personal venture and more of a symbolic public martyrdom for each side of the political aisle to push their competing ideals. Or so the cynical side of my brain would tell you. As with most of my situation, I grew up confused about my sexuality and why I wasn't obsessed with girls in the way my friends were. I didn't get why the feelings I had were in direct contradiction to what I believed in and always wanted, a wife and a family. Hey, hi, Skyler. Oh, tell me all those stories. Can you wave to the camera? I came out as gay publicly in July of 2018. By that point, most of my close family and friends knew, and I had told my wife early into our dating. So it was less of an invitation to my pity party and more of a way for me to dispel a lot of needless shame I had developed in my adolescence. Because I didn't want to marry a man, I was fed messages from society that I wasn't living life honestly. I resented this. For all those claiming to accept everyone's choices regarding their sexuality, why wouldn't they accept mine? If I'm not being genuine, why am I so at peace? If I'm not being true to myself, why is my marriage so fulfilling? We definitely experienced our fair share of unique hardships and low points, but coming out on top of those made our relationship all the more worth it. I don't pretend to believe that mixed orientation marriages are the answer for everyone dealing with contradictions within their faith and sexual preferences but we absolutely felt it was right for us. Whether it's a crisis of identity or a loss of something or someone valuable, we're all victim to something. But we don't have to act like it. Victimhood doesn't solve our problems. It makes the cuts run deeper and the wounds heal slower. In reality, we're also all beneficiaries of something. And with this mindset, no obstacle can get in the way of you living your best life. <laughs>